Come out here, and you are going to do that athletic stance again. Okay. Okay, you're going to go down to a squat, and then you are going to roll. Okay. And that's it. Come on. Excellent. Athletic stance. Great. Hinge a little bit at the hips. Keep your back nice and straight. Bend the knees. There you go. Now squat. On your way up, pull. Excellent. Very nice. Excellent. You're pulling right into your chest. Nice. And make sure that you are breathing. Good. How are you feeling? Okay. How's the weight feel? Pretty light. Light? I think we should go a little higher. Should I bring the weight? Go ahead and continue. Continue through this set, and what we'll do is we're going to change the weight up. Excellent. Three, two, and one. Very nice job. What we're gonna do is we're gonna have you do a lunge in a single row. Are you able to do a lunge? Yep. All righty then. Let's assess you first. So what we wanna do is we wanna do a backwards lunge. Okay. You're gonna go back. We want to go back just far enough so that water runs off of your leg, okay? We don't need to actually go down and touch with the other knee. Come down this far. So off the mm -hmm. planted Make sure that foot. you're actually pushing off the planted foot. You're going to push off your heel, okay? That's going to be... So can you do that for me? So hands on the hips? Hands on the hips because I'm just evaluating you right now. Excellent. Good. One more. Very nice. And can you do the other side? Good. And one more time. Very good. Okay, so what we're going to do this time, we're going to do a single handle, and you are going to lunge and row. And lunge and row. Okay. Okay? And I did set, change the weight, so let's okay. see how that is for you. So stepping back with the same stepping foot. As Stepping back on the same with. foot. Okay. Leg has to come a little bit closer to the uh, bent leg. So come on back up. Good. There you go. Perfect. Good. Very nice. How's it feel? It's okay. Good. Again, you don't have to go all the way down. You want to go just enough to get the water to come off of your knee. Good. Good job. Two more. Very nice. Okay. That was three. Three. Oh, that was. We're gonna go in. We're gonna go in stages. Okay. So we're doing a squat row. So I want you to stand in front of me. Okay, because I've never worked out with her before. Stand like you're going to do the row in front of the machine. Step back just a little bit, get in your squat position. Okay, put your hands out in front of you. Okay, I want you to go into a squat for me. Pause. Okay, now as you stand up, I want you to drive your elbows back along with your shoulder blades and hold. Okay, so I'm just going to see that. I just want to watch that position. Okay, now whether she has ever done a row before or not, we're going to assume that she's done a row, but she has not done the squat in the pull. Okay. In this position here, when she's fully erect, okay, soft knee, ankle slightly flexed, flexed, she's not totally, I'm going to look at the angle of the arm or the line of pull, and I'm going to bring this pulley down a little, so that, stay in that position for me, so we're in direct opposition of the 90 degree of elbow flexion. Okay, that's number one. Sometimes with the pulley this high, as she goes down, watch what happens. This arm goes up. So you have a load here and a load here. Okay. So it's pulling. So she's getting shoulder elevation here. Okay, in this position. Right. Being that if it was here, 
as she pulls up. It's directly in line the whole time. So we don't want anything, any extraneous forces okay. taking her. So it, not that it's a risky position, we're just trying to keep everything in line. One other thing, look at her. Okay, look at the pulleys. Too far, they should be in so here's what, here's what happens before you bring them in. If we could get the angle from behind, if you, Tara, would just hold that straight out for me and straight right behind her in, 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 in perfect direct opposition. Bring that cable out more this way. There you go. Bring that cable out more this way. Good. Now you're in perfect alignment with the pulleys or the line of pull, the direction of resistance. Her hands are in here. Correct. So from where she's pulling, hold that for me. If you talk about biomechanics, in the engineering of the body, we have different force angles. Right. Okay, so you can see the two different force angles. Okay, so all I have to do, hold on tight, is bring that in. And now we have the same force angle. Okay, so I'm gonna drop this. I'm gonna bring the pulley down just one notch. You can hand her. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna show my flexibility. Okay, now I'm gonna have you go into that squat and I'm gonna have you pull. Come on up, hold. Good. Are you with me? Mm -hmm. Does that yeah. make sense? Definitely. Okay, slow on the way down and pull on the way up. Now she's in direct opposition. Now you don't have any forces going this way. Okay, pulling her or oh. she's in a resisted internal rotated position. Okay. Does this feel any different? Let's ask, let, you, you're the boss. Does this feel any different? Does it feel yeah, mechanically I mean, more efficient? It feels better, I think. Okay. Yeah. You think? <laughs> yeah, no, it does. <laughs> okay. We started out on a light load for the first set. Right. So oh, don't even worry if about it was the weight. Slightly off, I yeah. didn't really feel too yeah. much wrong. The last thing we want to do is worry about the weight. Okay, it's, it's not what you do, it's how you do it. So it's not about how many reps you perform or, or the load or the weight, it's, it's do you perform it correctly? So we could always add weight later. Right now I just want to go through the biomechanics or what's called the arthrokinematics. Everything's working together as a team. So go back into that squat and then pull back up and draw the shoulder blades back and hold. Now, the only other thing, because you know I'm a technical trainer, is be there. Be there. Come on out. Go on to that squat. Go into your squat. Come on to pull. We got two more. Slow. Pause. Drive your shoulder blades back with the elbows. Good. Slow. Slow. Drive them back and relax. Let go. I have this load. So I have the load. I put it away and I take her back into the next position. Okay. Rather than her walking in. So always take the load from them in their strongest position. Okay. That's it. So I'm um, still in. Yep. And the same thing would relate to that third exercise. Being up here, as she goes down, okay, just stand right here for me. As she goes down, the same thing happens. Right. Okay, so, so the pulley, like yeah, just take the pulley a little lower. So you're here, step back with that same leg. Come on up and draw. Good. Good. Okay, two contact points, one in the back, one in the front, one in the back one in the front. We want to eliminate any inertia. We want to eliminate any momentum. We want to move slowly through this position. Okay, can she maintain this proper posture, this neutral spine, as she goes and decelerates into a lunge and pulls back into a row? We could worry about other movements. We could worry about other movements like hip flex in the front. Come on up, lift your knee. Hold the position. Send the leg back, hip flex, hold the position, send the leg back. So now we got rid of a contact point in the front. Mm -hmm. Okay, we can worry about the transition or the progressions later. Right now it's about getting into the biomechanics and the engineering and how she's gonna perform the exercise, that's all. So those are three perfect choices. Small little adjustments. Perfect, I, excellent, excellent choice. What?